Hey guys, can you believe it? 104 today. The real field they said was 109, now they say it's 105. But down here in the south with the humidity, 104, might as well be 204. So, anyways, I know you've all been curious as to what's in the blue box. So I figured I would show you what's in the blue box. This is the MMP9 Pro Series. You'll see a lot of them out there. Most of them are the Total Melanite finish. This one is the two-tone. Uh, I'm told you can't even order these off of Smith & Wesson's website. These were only made for a few um, select companies that ordered them that way. So you'll probably not see very many. I mean, there's some out there, but they're very hard to come by. A buddy of mine, Tim, sent this over here. He knows who he is. Wanted me to do, you know, some little shooting comparison between this one and the XD 5.25, which we will get to a little bit later um it is a nine millimeter comes with two 17 round magazines so plus one you got 18 rounds and it comes with the two palm swells and the one that's on the gun and all you do is just turn this little lever and slide the bar out you can change the different palm swells for the different size, you know, kind of custom fit it to your hand. I notice a lot of companies are doing that now. I really like that. That way you can get the one. This one actually fits my hand the best. And I'm going to tell you this XD9, excuse me, this MMP9 compared to my XD feels wonderful. You know I'm an XD fan and I love blocks, but I'm going to tell you what. This one feels like a glove in my hand. We'll run over a few uh, specs right quick. It's a nine millimeter. We have um, 17 plus one magazine capability. Uh, I don't know if they make longer magazines. A lot of aftermarket companies do, but it is a striker fire, double action only. It has the green Novak fiber optic front sight, the black Novak target sights on the rear. I'm told these are supposed to reduce glare. And trigger pull on this is supposed to be, you know, most stock guns are the four and a half, four, four and a half, five and a half pound trigger. It's a really nice trigger. Has a kind of a short reset. I don't know if you can see that in camera about right there has a really nice reset weights 26 ounces overall length is eight and a half um, inch pistol um, frames polymer has the adjustable palm swells um, most like I said most of them come in the black melanite finish this one is the two tone it's more of a Kind of a satin stainless, not a real high glare. And the, the uses for this gun would probably be, be you know, home defense most of the time. Um, this particular one's used for IDPA shooting. Um, it breaks down pretty much like all of your. Uh, Firearms do basically now these days. You can pull it back, lock your slide. But one thing the MMP does instead of like on the XD where it flips up, this one actually flips down, and then you'll flip your. And it does have the uh, ambidextrous bolt release, slide release, safe direction, pull trigger. You can pull the frame off. 
a lot of your same components as you would have in a regular um, striker fired pistol and it does have the Picatinny rail has a non has a captured excuse me captured guide rod spring and the barrel is um, five inch it does have when it's loaded you can see put this baby back together It does have a see-through spot right here where you can actually see the round. And I haven't done the shake test on this one, but I'm pretty sure this one has a supported chamber. You know, you can put your uh, round in there. And you rack, slide your magazine in, rack the slide, and take the firearm and shake it. And you don't get, you know, a lot of the Glocks do that. They will... Uh, a lot of the Glocks are with the unsupported chamber. You get the little rattle. With this one, you don't. It has very, very, very good sights. I'm really, really excited to go shoot this one. And we'll see how it stacks up and turns out against the XD. You know, I'm a big XD fan, but I think if I buy me a IDPA pistol, I'm leaning more along the lines of this right here. Or a CZ Phantom 75 SPO1 Phantom or a Shadow. Give you some kind of close ups of the gun. There's a very, very, very nice finish on it. I love the uh, more like real aggressive serrated fish gill um, slide serrations on it. it. Gives you a really good purchase on it. And it's just a really, really, really comfortable. In your hand, firearm. Like I haven't shot. I have shot a uh, uh, nine millimeter uh, Smith and Wesson MP9 Pro before, but it was the black melanated finish, and um, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of difference in it. But I think this one's going to be a really good shooter. Check out those fiber optic sights. All right, I can't wait to get out. And go shoot them tomorrow. And now tell me what you think about the MMP9 Pro. I think it's going to be a really sweet shooter. I, I can't review it. I can just give you a few little specs and everything because I haven't shot it. But I'll shoot it and give you a, uh, a what I think about it scenario. All right, I'm out of here.